guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a movie review. This movie is a drama from Iceland, Icelandic language English subs, released in the year 2015, directed by Gunnar Hakanarsson, and this movie is called Rams. So Rams tells the story of two brothers who haven't spoken to each other in 40 years. They have farms that are very uh, close to each other, and they live in this community that specialises in sheep farming. So this is a very isolated community in the mountainous areas of Iceland. It's a very harsh and unforgiving land, but they share their similar love for the sheep, and basically the rams. And the Rams are their pride and joy. Basically, everyone in the community on an annual basis takes their rams, their best rams, to an annual show. And basically, whoever wins the prize as the most healthy and the strongest is based, that's their mantle and that's their bragging rights for the next year. So it's a very close-knit community, but this community is going to be put to the test when one year a viral sheep disease becomes apparent and it hits this little village very hard. And so the authorities deem it necessary to slaughter every sheep in this community because they want to contain this virus before it's too late. So this has a devastating effect on everybody, especially the two brothers. Now these two brothers are going to have to try and put their differences aside in order to save the ones that they love, which is ultimately their livestock, and whether or not they can do that is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on rams. This is definitely one of the most powerful and the most beautiful films I have seen in a very long time and it's a clear example of just how underrated Icelandic cinema is. In fact, I consider Icelandic cinema the sleeping giant of world cinema. So if you haven't really become familiar with Icelandic cinema, then you're not, yeah, you do yourself a favour and go out there and see as many films from this country as possible because they all deliver something different. It's very reminiscent of the films of Sweden, Denmark and Norway. It's the Scandinavian region. And I love the way they utilise the landscape to make a symbolic sort of gesture in their films. And in this case, it's basically the harsh living conditions of this community that is clashing against the love that this community have for their animals. And that's what I loved about the film so much is that the age-old connection between man and animal that a lot of people dismiss. A lot of people don't treat animals as you know part of the family. They don't treat animals as something to really care about. They, they torture animals. They, they're very cruel to animals. And that's a shame because when an animal is treated right, they can actually have a strong influence in your life. And this movie sums that up perfectly. Is that you've got two brothers who haven't spoken to each other in 40 years. There's a lot of animosity in between them. And then all of a sudden when they're their tragedy befalls their livestock, they start to come together. So it does show you the power of an animal, uh, you know, a stupid animal, as a lot of people might call them. But if you are a, 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 you know, a lover of animals, if you actually treasure animals, such as dogs, as part of your family, then you will appreciate the overall tone that this film has. It does show that, that age-old symbolic sort of uh, meaning that you know a, an animal can have upon a human, and that without a these animals, these humans would be nothing, and without the, the humans, these animals would be nothing. So they need each other just as much and so I think the movie does symbolize that very well in a very loving way it's got a very sweet heart and that sweet heart is always present so it's a very consistent film and what I mean by that is that some other movies are very dark and depressing and very cruel as this film is and they deem it necessary to have some comedic elements and those comedic elements immediately contradict the overall shocking elements so you feel like you're going up and down up and down one really funny moment where it's light-hearted and you feel really good then all of a sudden it hits you with something very depressing so it feels like it's very awkward you don't know how to feel about a film and it's that overwhelming sense of a roller coaster of emotions that contradicts what this, the films are about but this movie has a very smooth continuity to it where you actually feel that yes some very bad things are happening but it's got that uplifting sort of element to it underneath that keeps the film going and it never really makes you feel as bad as other films will want to make you feel. This movie is a devastating film but it's not done to actually make you feel down and out. It actually is a movie that you'd actually want to watch again. Yeah, There are some very devastating films that you don't watch you know, for a, a, many years is because you can't take it. It's because it's a gut punch whereas this movie doesn't have that gut punch but it still has that cruelty of this harsh environment. The harsh uh, you know, you know, the, the nature, the, the harsh element of nature, you know, the harsh weather, and you know, this whole community is just basically depending on their livestock, and it shows you the devastation of farmers in that if they don't have what it takes to care for their animals, they're nothing. And so that close bond between, as I said, human and animal does come to the front, and it also expands itself into the human relationships in this film. The human relationships were very fascinating. You've got these two brothers, very likeable people, but for reasons that are not uh, dictated to you at the start of the film, they are apart. But then as the movie goes along, it subtly gives you the indication of what's happening. So that's what I love about movies like this, is that you're actually joining these people on one particular day. And so in reality, these brothers wouldn't have to tell the screen what's going on. They don't have to tell the viewer what's going on because in their particular life they know what's going on. And so that really 
he tells the, the audience that they have what it takes to actually figure it out. And as the movie goes along, you do get a few clues as to what's happened and you feel that it's very trivial. And that the pri when they start to prioritise things uh, to what's important, it shows you that close connection that they're getting. So it's a very, uh, sort of, it's, it's a very charming sort of way it goes about. And it is very relevant to reality is that some people don't talk to their loved ones for a long time. But after you finish watching this film, it will actually make you want to go and talk to them because it does show you the wastefulness that these humans had and the power of these animals that can have to inflict that sort of emotion onto a character to make their lives better. So I really like the way that this the movie makes you think. It does have a lot of depth and I thought the characters were fantastic, fantastic acting. There were moments where that made me laugh but they weren't done uh, in slapstick sort of comedy. Very deadpan humour. And the deadpan humour it was necessary in order to make this film work. It's because deadpan humour is very, very, very subtle. And if you're not familiar with deadpan humour, this might go over your head and you might not notice it. And that's what I thought was good is because it, it's, the comedy is not obvious enough to really distract it, to really feel like it's out of place for what the film wants to be. And what the film is being is basically a tale of love and the power of love against outside forces. But it never... It never feels like there is a certain scene out of place. It always feels like it's going along in a very consistent tone, and that tone is both devastating and also strangely uplifting. So it's an absolutely incredibly beautiful film. The cinematography was excellent. I really liked... Uh, yeah, there were a few scenes that were very touching, especially one scene with a sheepdog, and I'm not going to tell you what happens, but that was very funny, and it was very you know, cute as well. So the film ends in a very, very high-impact way. I thought the last scene of this film was the reason why I, I remembered it for so many days is because it really sums up the beauty and the core heart this film has. And so it really knows how to tell a story and it tells it very well. The supporting cast are very good. Gunnar Jonsson, who was off uh, Virgin Mountain, he's a very good Icelandic actor. He plays a small role in this film. And you feel that this community is very strong together and it also demonstrates the hardships that people have on farms. And so if you are a fan of dramas uh, and you want to see a film that will make you feel very good but at the same time hit you with a, a strong level of tragedy as well so it was a very fine mix and so this is a movie I would definitely recommend it's one of the most powerful films I've seen in a very long time and it's definitely the best film I've seen this year and as a result of that Rams is the first film of 2016 that I'm going to give five stars to. Alright guys that's it for my review hope you enjoyed it till next time you watch your movies and I'll see you later.